Okay, so I have a 986-996 alarm control unit, and I have a 996, so it's a 99-996 or a 98-99 Boxster DME. So it's not e-gas. It's the old 5.2 DMEs. Breakout box, K-line, ground, power. And then I got it connected to the cable. Cable goes here. This is a factory cable. has a heavy duty. I, I, re I replaced this because I wanted a heavy duty one on there. This is a KTS 650 housing with a KTS 670 motherboard. So it's the more robust motherboard. The newest one has Peavis 1 latest and greatest version 31. And I don't care what anybody says because I made more Peavis testers than anybody. 31 was the latest and greatest, not 34, because 34 was buggy. Uh, and then you had to have workarounds to make it work right. 31 was the last version before they poison. 32 was when they started to poison it. Okay, so I do my output. I got some current drawn. We select here. We'll go 996. I got my pup barking in the background. You hear that click, click, click? That's the multiplexer. And my dogs are barking at a man walking. They're crazy. So we'll select the DME. We'll go into the DME just to have some kicks. And this is running on battery right now. There's no power supply. So you could see this came out of, show the VIN. That was the VIN it came out of. I think this car was in Florida. A friend gave me this DME a long time ago. But that's my test bed. I can make re keys for people remotely. All they need to do is send me their alarm control unit. I, make, I can make the key, the remote function, and the start. Unlock the door, start the car. I, got a, I do have a key machine here. But that's not what this video is about. So... We can look at, um, let's see, vehicle data. I think we could see the ranges from this control unit. There. So, no one beat it up. Range 2 has nothing. Range 1. There's the VIN again. Um... I mean, because this car, it's not connected to a car, but you could connect, you could check up to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You go in here, get them all. And then just because you selected that, you don't have to go back. This will select the next eight if you just do F12. You see how they all changed. You could go again. And it keeps going. Okay. We will do the alarm control unit. Um, we could do, where's learning function? We could do teaching functions. We could teach keys, so we could, we could teach the transponder key, which for so I could just program keys with this. You just need to know the programming code. You can program remote controls. And this brings up the keyboard. So you could program keys, you could delete all the keys.
play a bad trick on your friend because you need the there's a I think 20 character code on the key fob if you want to program it but you can code it but you have to do an automatic search do automatic search you have to have an instrument cluster it has fault finding in it very very effective fault finding where you don't have to be connected to the car you can be connected you could you know go home at night have some problem cars let's see a 2009 yeah but people don't know how to use guided fault finding you can use it offline you don't have to be connected to the car so and this has a the normal batteries in these originally were 6,000 milliamp hour. I rebuild the batteries, and this one has a, it's more than 10,000. It's 10,000, I think 10,500 milliamp hour. So we're going to look into DME next. Tells you never hang the Peebus tester on a steering wheel, although people do it all the time. This is the disclaimer for Porsche. You hit guided fault finding. Just wait. You want fault memory symptoms. So when you get to here, DFI, all engine variants, and look at how many DTCs you can look up. Right? Let's say we got this, this, present, sporadic, accept it. Next, next. And it's going to give you a wiring diagram. It's going to give you diagnosis information. <clears throat> It'll come. Yeah. I think the damn thing's low. It's thinking. There you go. So there is no wiring diagram that for its valve drift control. Gives you diagnosis information. I don't, maybe this one does not have in it. No, I think I screwed it up. I did screw this up. Oh, you know why? Here's what's happening. The help button is depressed. So get rid of the help button. Because the help button actually works. So this is what they're saying. The diagnosis for that DTC. Um... Because the help button would be if you had a, if you were inside the diagnosis and you're wondering what something is, you could click on it and then click help. And then we'll go back, repair instructions. There's nothing for this yet, so it's kind of an obscure fault. All right. I'm going to get out of guided fault finding. No. So... I mean, there's more in here. There's wiring diagrams, but I don't need to click it. The thing's a full power, full tester. It's a, exactly as the Porsche tester was. It's in a different housing, and the housing is in spectacular condition. Almost like new. So, there you go.